guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad. And last night we were sprayed, possibly, we were possibly sprayed without our permission. <music> have been following but in Michigan right now there has been a, um, a an illness a sickness a virus I don't know what the correct word for it. it's called equine eastern equine encephalitis uh, it's a rare thing that's carried by mosquitoes um, it's tragically fatal to horses and it can be fatal to humans in rare rare instances I think there's been two or three deaths in Michigan um, this year but it's rare and the state has decided they're going to spray aerial spray to try to kill mosquitoes on its face sounds like a great idea right you know let's spray it'll kill the mosquitoes then people will be safe horses will be safe um, and everything will be good. Not so much. Um, the the chemicals that they're spraying also kill other insects, such as dragonflies, which eat mosquitoes. Uh, they can be fatal to bees, which, if you follow this channel, you know uh, bees are like the most important insect in the world. Without bees, you know, our plants can't pollinate or much more difficult to try to pollinate our plants. Um, so when I first heard about this, um, my friends over at Part Time Permies had been posting about it, um, and there's an opt out. You can email the state and say if you email soon enough ahead of, ahead of time, so 48 hours ahead of when they plan to to spray, they will opt you out. They won't spray over top of your property. So I, as soon as I heard, I opted out because I've got the five, uh, the four beehives uh, and I'm just not a big fan of having chemicals sprayed over my property without, you know, I try not to put any chemicals on my property unless I need to. And if I do, then I'm using organic stuff. Anyway, I opted out. Last night was the first time they were spraying in my county. Um, and sure enough, I'm laying in bed at like 9.30, and I hear mm, right over top of our house. Like, I think it came east to west, and it sounds like they were, I mean, they're buzzing treetops. <clears throat> That's how low they were. So I was like, oh, crap. Well, hopefully they didn't spray. So if you opt out, they're supposed to not spray your property plus 1,000 feet in each direction. Uh, and somebody, one of my neighbors had gone and had put um, flyers on everybody's mailboxes saying like, hey, you can opt out, you know, it's fall, mosquitoes, you know, the, the lows last night were 42, uh, or maybe it was the night before, but getting to the point now where mosquitoes are getting to be pretty dormant, uh, not totally gone, but getting to be pretty dormant. Um, and we're going to be having lows in the 30s coming up this week, so... You know, it seems like, hey, look, I want to be able to save every life we can, but people die from the flu every day. It's just, why add more chemicals that are going to harm the environment? Uh, the half-life of this chemical is 11 hours, so the chemical will be in the, the ground. So the first one came through, and then I heard it coming, and my bedroom window is right here. So I came looking out my bedroom window, looking across the field here, and I could see it coming right over top of the, the treetops. I mean, he came right over top of that tree right there. And, and obviously it's 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. I can't see if he's spraying or not. So I have no idea if he turned off the spray and didn't spray us like we asked, or if he actually sprayed chemicals like we didn't ask. But to me, it's just one of those things where the government just... It's an overreach. It's a knee-jerk reaction. It's, we got to do something, you know, so let's go do this. Not thinking about what the, the side effects might be, what the long-term effects might be of killing 
you know, bees and dragonflies and stuff like that. Like, who knows? Maybe next spring we'll have a huge explosion of uh, mosquitoes now because the larva for the dragonflies are dead and the, you know, bees are dead and so gardens are going to not do well. We don't know, but that's the thing. We don't know. And they did it anyway. So, I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Um, it, would you have opted out? Did you opt out if you live in Michigan? Or am I being overly worried about something that I shouldn't be worried about? So, I don't know. I'm not real thrilled about it, but can't do anything at this point. And that's, that's part of the bummer for me is I tried to do everything I could in opting out and we still may have gotten sprayed. I mean, they could have sprayed a thousand feet away from us and the wind could have blown it here. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.